Hey guys, it's Kevin. Uh, today we're going to use cleaning solutions to clean these uh, white nozzles. Uh, you can see it's really striped and uh, the nozzle check doesn't look good either. I know you probably wanted to use the, uh, the purge syringe, get a syringeal fluid, push it through the pre-net. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, but this video, I'm just showing uh, an alternative way to doing it. I think it's less stressful for the brain net. So you'll need uh, some kind of tapes, uh, scissors. We got a bottle of uh, cleaning solution for DTF. Uh, you can see it already has the syringes and uh, the tubes for you flush the brain net. I'll put a list of this uh, of the parts in the description. So today we're going to use one, two, six manifold. And if you only want to uh, clean the white, you can use that triangle one, one to two. And we also need uh, like one to one manifold. And uh, I use uh, these tubes uh, and uh, each order is two feet. So I made uh, two orders. So that's six, uh, four feet total. I cut it in half. We're going to use the absence of built-in function to suck the cleaning fluid in and therefore we don't have to push again there's nothing wrong with uh, pushing the fluid however you have to be really really skillful and uh, if you push too hard you may break the membranes between the colors and therefore damage permanent damage to print that so using the printer's building function to sucking out is uh, safer so we're gonna turn off and turn on the printer once the uh, print head move to the left, uh, we're going to disconnect the power and therefore to free the print head. We're going to take uh, two white dampers out. If you have uh, this kind of uh, uh, white uh, ink uh, circulation system, we're going to take the white damper out and immediately uh, we we'll put the white dampers inside the uh, uh, Ziploc. Because we have a uh, white um, ink management system, uh, we need a uh, connect those two tubes. So we go to bchtechnologies.com and go to the DTF, DTF parts. Inside this manifold, this is connected. Basically, this is U-shaped connector. Uh, basically, your white ink management system going to push ink uh, to those two tubes, to the damper. Now you remove the damper, so you have to have something there to hold the damper's place. Now we take all the dampers out and put them aside. Now we're going to take uh, two feet of uh, this tube. Uh, each order is two feet, so you need to make two orders. Okay, first, first two feet, we're going to cut into six pieces. Then we're going to insert uh, each piece onto the nipples on the print head. Now we're going to use this one, two, six manifold. Uh, if you do not want to do all the colors, uh, because if other colors is not, uh, is not clogged, only the white uh, damper is uh, the white color is clogged. You can use this one, two, two. So, but for this printer, I found that the color is also clogged. So I oh, I want to just clean them all together. And this one have a six. Uh, inlet or outlet, uh, actually it's outlet on the, around it, and then there's one, uh, th there's one inlet in the middle. Now I'm connecting the six tubes from the print head uh, to the six uh, outlet on the on the manifold, and now I take the two feet tube and I connect to the middle. You don't have a, you don't need a clamp, but uh, it just makes things look nicer. Now you can put this side of the tube in the uh, cleaning solution. Um, I usually poke two holes, uh, just in case that uh, I get the air, uh, get, get the, uh, the tube airtight, uh, so the, uh, the the fluid cannot come out. Uh, you can put it on the side, like uh, tape it up, or you can put it on top. Uh, either way, it works. Uh, this setup not only can do cleanings, but also if you're traveling, you want to set your printer in a vacation mode, you can suck in the, uh, the wetter solution. 
but do not uh, do this. Uh, do not let the cleaning solution in the printhead for a prolonged period of time. Uh, you cannot fill the printhead with cleaning solution. Just leave it. You have to wash it out. Okay. Now you can go to your computer and uh, draft the cleaning from the computer. And uh, also, I have a script that uh, if you go to this website, and there's a printhead printhead cleaning macro that you can program it and do it automatically. And just scroll down here, so the installation and configuration instruction. So we're doing a 10 minute cycle. So uh, each 10 minutes, each 10 minute we we'll do a cleaning and uh, we're going to do, so each hour we we'll do six cleanings. So we're gonna come back after an hour. So if you do it manually, uh, do not do do it back to back. So like a, in a like a do it every ten minutes. So the printer can rest a couple minutes before the next cleaning. From the error bubble, we can see the cleaning solution is sucked in to the printhead. Uh, this clock wasn't that bad, so we only stopped after an hour. So I did uh, six cleanings. Um, however, if it's really stubborn, we're going to wait an hour. So six cleanings, wait an hour, and then do six more. So after you put your ink back, remember now the uh, printhead is filled with the cleaning solutions, not the uh, inks. You need to use the ink to replace the cleaning solution. So don't print anything, do three to five cleanings, and then print. So now you can see we already did uh, three cleanings, but the print is a little bit better. And you can see uh, it was before and now it's like uh, the white, you get more white. However, it's not ideal yet. So we did uh, three more cleanings and uh, until uh, now you can see the white is completely covered. So this is when we start. This is the first three cleanings after after we do the cleaning, <laughs> okay. So you can see the ink is not completely replaced the cleaning solution yet. And then and then after three more cleanings, now you can see the ink gets in and uh, the printer prints perfectly. So this is before the cleaning. And uh, right, you can see the straps. Right after the cleaning and the ink is not totally in yet. And uh, this will look like now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.